Hello students, this is Unit 5, Helping Tourists, Travel Agents, Class 1, English Works 2. The goals of this class or this lesson are learn to give suggestions to different types of tourists regarding their needs, learn some useful vocabulary for travel agents. We are going to do an activity. Uh, nós vamos fazer uma atividade. Uh, vocês vão ouvir um texto sobre travel agents. And vocês vão, então, for the first time, just listen. The second time, listen and write words that you understand. Escrevam palavras que vocês entendem do texto. And for the third time, listen and write sentences. Então, na terceira vez que vocês escutarem, vocês vão escutar... E vocês vão tentar escrever frases sobre o texto que vocês estão escutando. Vamos lá? O Jason vai ler o texto para vocês. A travel agent is a professional who specializes in making travel arrangements on behalf of other people. At times, the services of a travel agent can be extremely useful. Travel agents often have access to cheap fares and hotel deals. A travel agent may choose to work freelance or as part of a travel agency. Some agents specialize in a particular field of travel, like business travel, exotic travel, or honeymoon arrangements. Entenderam? Did you get it? Agora nós vamos escutar for the second time. Dessa vez, ouçam e tentem escrever algumas palavras. A travel agent is a professional who specializes in making travel arrangements on behalf of other people. At times, the services of a travel agent can be extremely useful. Travel agents often have access to cheap fares and hotel deals. A travel agent may choose to work freelance or as part of a travel agency. Some agents specialize in a particular field of travel, like business travel, exotic travel, or honeymoon arrangements. Hey students, did you understand anything? Were you able to write some words? Vocês conseguiram escrever algumas palavras durante o momento em que vocês estavam escutando? Vocês podem parar esse vídeo e escrever algumas palavras. E depois nós vamos para a terceira leitura do Jason. Dessa vez, vocês vão tentar escutar e escrever frases. Let's go! A travel agent is a professional who specializes in making travel arrangements on behalf of other people. At times, the services of a travel agent can be extremely useful. Travel agents often have access to cheap fares and hotel deals. A travel agent may choose to work freelance or as part of a travel agency. Some agents specialize in a particular field of travel, like business travel, exotic travel, or honeymoon arrangements. Okay, did you get it? Were you able to write some sentences? Se vocês conseguiram escrever alguma frase, vocês podem postar essas frases do texto no Facebook, ok? Nós podemos olhar lá. Agora vamos passar para o próximo slide. Check your work, students. See if you got words or sentences correctly. Jason is going to read one more time, so you can follow the text, ok? A travel agent is a professional who specializes in making travel arrangements on behalf of other people. At times, the services of a travel agent can be extremely useful. Travel agents often have access to cheap fares and hotel deals. A travel agent may choose to work freelance or as part of a travel agency. Some agents specialize in a particular field of travel, like business travel, exotic travel, or honeymoon arrangements. Okay, students, let's move on. 
So do you remember any words that can describe a travel agent? What should a travel agent be? Should the travel agent be nice? Should a travel agent be naughty? Should a travel agent be grumpy? What do you think? Think about some words that can describe a travel agent, a person that provides service. Now, let's see some words. Okay, a travel agent is helpful, makes suggestions, book tickets and hotels, suggests places to go, is polite, and answer questions. All these are characteristics or qualities of a good travel agent. Can you repeat after me? A travel agent is helpful. A travel agent makes suggestions. A travel agent books tickets and hotels. A travel agent suggests places to go. A travel agent is polite. A travel agent answers questions. Good job! Let's move on! We are going to work on travel agency vocabulary now. So let's see what some of the words mean. I want to book my trip to Rio next week. What does to book mean? Is it A, something you read stories from? Is it B, to reserve time and space in an airplane, a hotel, a restaurant, or a doctor's office? Or is it C, to collect things you like? What do you think? A, B, or C? The answer is B, to reserve time and space in an airplane, a hotel, a restaurant, or a doctor's office. So if you want to make an appointment with a doctor because you have a headache, you're going to book an appointment. Okay, let's move on. More vocabulary. I don't know if I'm going to purchase this tour. What does purchase mean? A. To buy something. B. To put something inside a purse. Or C. To collect things you like. What do you think, students? A, B, or C? Look at the picture. Is it a clue? Yes. The answer is letter A. To buy something. I want to purchase a gift for my best friend. Okay, let's move on. The travel agent offered to help plan your itinerary. What does itinerary mean? A. A schedule of events and reservations for a traveler. B. A travel agency brochure. Or C. A group of people traveling together. So, students, itinerary would be A, B, or C. Great! The answer is letter A, a schedule of events and reservations for a traveler. Great job! Let's move on. Now, we are going to work on giving suggestions to our clients. Nós vamos ser os agentes de viagem, os travel agents, e nós vamos dar sugestões para os nossos clientes. Jason é o nosso cliente e ele vai dizer o que ele gostaria de fazer. E eu vou dar a sugestão, ok? So, let's start. Jason is going to ask for a suggestion. We like to walk, take pictures and see plants and animals. Great. You can go to the botanical garden. 
the garden. We like extreme sports to. like mountain climbing and hang gliding. Students, o que vocês poderiam sugerir para someone that like extreme sports like mountain climbing and hang gliding? No Rio, nós temos grandes é, pontos turísticos, excelentes pontos turísticos para quem gosta de fazer mountain climbing and hang gliding. So, let's see what you're going to suggest. Rio Adventures offers a package to Morro da Urca. The tour lasts two hours. It includes a guide, transfer and equip equipment and it costs 220 reais a person. So what they are going to do in Morro da Urca? Yes, they are going to mountain climb. Good job! What would you do if you would suggest, uh, what place would you suggest to a customer that wants to do hang gliding? What does hang gliding mean? Very good! Asa Delta. Good job. We would like to Let's see some Brazilian on. art and also buy some gifts. Brazil is a very rich country in arts. Nós somos um país muito rico em artes. And these tourists, they want to see art and they want to buy gifts. Where should they go? What we're going to suggest? I suggest you go to our new museum, MAR. We also have exhibitions at CCBB in the Museum of Modern Art. They all have gift shops inside. That's a good suggestion. The new museum is very beautiful. We would like to experience the nightlife in Rio. These students want to experience the nightlife in Rio. Rio's nightlife is world famous because we know how to party. So what we would suggest for a tourist, it has to be a safe place. I suggest you go to Lapa for dinner, music and dancing. The hot spots there are Carioca da Gema and Lapa 40 Graus. What's a hot spot? Do you know? Check it out. We would like to learn how to dance samba. Oh, these tourists, tourists would like to learn how to dance samba. So, near Madureira, Padre Miguel, everywhere we have samba schools, right? Escolas de samba. They can go to any of them and learn how to dance. But let's see what the travel agent will suggest. I suggest you go to rehearsal at one of the Stamba schools, like Mangueira, Mocidade, Portela. Excellent. We would like to see the most important landmarks, but we only have one day. Okay, they have one day to go around and see Rio. What would you suggest? Let's check what the travel agent says. There are some one-day packages to Corcovado and Sugarloaf. You pass by other important places by bus as well. So they will know Corcovado and Sugarloaf and also some other places by bus. That's a good suggestion. Now let's do an activity. Um, you are going to be the travel agents and we are going to see what the tourist wants to do. So if the tourist wants to experience Rio's nightlife, what would you suggest? Our travel agent suggested Lapa. What other places would you suggest? You can write on Facebook places you suggest to go out at night. What if the tourist wants to go mountain climbing? What would you suggest? Our travel agent suggested go to Morro da Urca. 
Are there other places where you can go mountain climb in Rio? Write your suggestion on Facebook. Our tourist want, wants to learn how to dance samba. Where should they go? Our tourists wants to want to hike. Where should they go? Let's see the answers. Going to Lapa at night. Climbing packages to Morro da Urca. Taking samba classes at a samba school. Hiking tours to Tijuca's Forest, Corcovado or Sugarloaf. If you like to hike a light walk, have a light walk or uma caminhada fácil, you can also uh, walk in front of the beach in Copacabana and in Panema, and you can also walk at the botanical garden. Great, let's move on. Now we are going to predict what's going to happen and then you're going to listen to the dialogue and you have to answer questions. So what's happening here? Who is she? Who is he? Think about the situation. What are they doing? You're going to listen to the dialogue and you have to answer the questions. What is a travel agent's suggestion? What does a tourist want to do? And what does a tourist doesn't like to do? So we are going to listen to the dialogue three times and then you're going to answer each one of these questions. Are you ready? Okay, we are going to play the dialogue now. Three, two, one. Good morning. Good morning. I need some information. Sure. How can I help you? I'm here on a business trip, but I have some free time, and I'd like to get to know the city. It's my first time here in Rio. Okay, well, what do you want to do? Relax? Play sports? Go sightseeing? All of those, I guess. But I really need a relaxing day, and I like to take pictures and go for walks. Hmm, let me see. You should go visit the botanical garden. Because the gardens are very beautiful, and you can relax, take pictures, and go for a walk there. You're going to listen now for the second time. So think about what's the travel agent's suggestion. And now, what does the tourist want to do? Listen for the second time. Good morning. Good morning. I need some information. Sure. How can I help you? I'm here on a business trip, but I have some free time, and I'd like to get to know the city. It's my first time here in Rio. Okay, well, what do you want to do? Relax? Play sports? Go sightseeing? All of those, I guess. But I really need a relaxing day, and I like to take pictures and go for walks. Hmm, let me see. You should go visit the botanical garden. Because the gardens are very beautiful, and you can relax, take pictures, and go for a walk there. Okay, what does the tourist want to do? Do you know? Did you understand? Okay. Now we're going to listen for the third time and we're going to answer what does the tourist doesn't like to do, what he doesn't like to do, okay? I like to swim, but I don't like to run. What does the tourist doesn't like to do, okay? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Good morning. Good morning. I need some information. Sure. How can I help you? I'm here on a business trip, but I have some free time, and I'd like to get to know the city. It's my first time here in Rio. Okay. Well, what do you want to do? Relax? Play sports? Go sightseeing? All of those, I guess. 
but I really need a relaxing day and I like to take pictures and go for walks. Mm, let me see. You should go visit the botanical garden because the gardens are very beautiful and you can relax, take pictures and go for a walk there. What does a tourist doesn't like to do? Okay, let's check it. I'm going to play the dialogue one more time. Good morning. Good morning. I need some information. Sure. How can I help you? I'm here on a business trip, but I have some free time, and I'd like to get to know the city. It's my first time here in Rio. Okay. Well, what do you want to do? Relax? Play sports? Go sightseeing? All of those, I guess. But I really need a relaxing day, and I like to take pictures and go for walks. Mm, let me see. You should go visit the botanical garden. Because the gardens are very beautiful, and you can relax, take pictures, and go for a walk there. Okay, students. So, what's the travel agent suggestion? I think the travel agent suggests that they go to the botanical garden because the gardens are very beautiful and you can relax, take pictures and go for a walk there. What does a tourist doesn't like to do? He didn't say. He said he likes to relax, to play sports and to go sightseeing. So we don't know what does he doesn't like to do. Right? And what does a tourist want to do? Well, he wants to know the city. He would like to know the city. I'd like to get to know the city. Okay, good job, students. Now, you can think about places you're going to suggest or you would go to, you would suggest if you were a travel agent. Think about athletic activities like hiking, mountain climbing, biking, visit museums, if the tourist wants to visit landmarks like Corcovado, Sugarloaf, um, the Christ Redeemer, if the tourist wants to spend, experience the nightlife like dance and have dinners, or if the, student, the tourist wants to relax, what would you suggest? Build up your suggestions and you can post it on Facebook or you can let us know on Moodle what would you suggest if a tourist wants to do one of these or all of these activities in Rio? Let us know what you think. And at the end of this class, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to give suggestions to different types of tourists regarding their needs and use some useful vocabulary for travel agents. You did a good job today. See you next class and thank you for listening to us. Bye-bye.